Why not us philosophy? So Spurrier led his Gamecocks onto the field at Williams-Brice Stadium for the first time. George O'Leary leading the University of Central Florida. Still looking for his first win there. He was 0-11 last year. South Carolina made him think it was going to be 0-12 early. Blake Mitchell to Noah Whiteside. First drive under Spurrier. Gamecocks get a touchdown. Five plays, touchdown on the fifth play. Second drive, Mitchell flipping it out to Mike Davis, the freshman running back. Thought by many to be the best running back prospect in the state of South Carolina last year. He gets it inside the five. And Mitchell, who would hit his first seven passes on the first two drives for 160 yards, caps off this one, finding his tight end, Andy Boyd. And the Gamecocks, the cock and fire offense, they're calling it around here, getting things started. Keep an eye on Chris Clark here. He's circled. Watch him rub off a defender. Some might call it a pick. Others call it a rub. Some just say he's running an inside route. Whatever you want to call it, he got Andy Boyd wide open for the South Carolina touchdown. Second quarter, 14-3, and Mitchell going back to work again. He got hit right in the teeth and delivered it on the money to Travis Lee. That would lead to a Gamecock field goal. Third quarter, 17-3, and Mitchell to Savelle Newton, who was the starting quarterback at South Carolina last year. He had a big night. He scores to make it 24-3, and once again, watch Chris Clark giving up his body for the ball club and for the Gamecock touchdown. But South Carolina wouldn't cruise to this victory despite getting off to the 24-3 lead. UCF would rally and get this thing back close. It's 24-13 in the fourth quarter. Golden Knights on the doorstep and the Gamecock defense rises up and makes the stop at the goal line and the head ball coach is now 1-0 as the head coach at South Carolina. 24-15 is the final. Now, Blake Mitchell, his quarterback, certainly performed very well throwing the football, throwing for 330 yards, second most yards ever in a South Carolina opener by a Gamecock quarterback. They made you sweat a bit tonight, but what did you learn about this new Gamecocks? Well, we turned it over, and, but we were fortunate to win. I mean, Central Florida, I thought we could run it on them, but we couldn't budge them. Uh, it was a tough game, but we held in there and won the game, so... Uh, we'll try to improve, get ready for Georgia next next game. In the second half, your defense did bend, but they didn't break. What adjustments do yeah, they need to break? Well, make? We couldn't we couldn't get them off the field. We couldn't get a turnover, but we held. Yeah, we they had a lot of yards, and I think we had 10 plays the whole second half. So, and we couldn't stay out there. So we feel fortunate. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't real pretty, but. Uh, we won the game. Well, your wife told me she loves the visor throw, and we got it from you tonight. Yeah, I threw one when uh, we dropped the interception. But fortunately, it didn't cost us. Welcome back. Congratulations. On ESPN2, picking up third quarter. Houston leading 21-20 on the Oregon 9. Art Riles on fourth and three, going to go for it. Kevin Cobb rolling out, evades the pressure, and throws it away. So a big defensive stop by the Ducks. Here's your ensuing Ducks possession from the 45. Here's Kellen Clemens on the quarterback keeper. Clemens rushed for 72 yards. He threw for 348 yards and two scores. Duke would go on to score, get the two-point conversion, went up 28-21. In the fourth, Oregon up 38-21. The freshman running back, Jonathan Stewart. Stewart going to get hit on the play. Here's the key. The key reveals Stewart runs for 25 yards after contact. <laughs> Yak, if you will. Five Houston defenders needed to take him down. Oregon 19 and 3 in their last 22 season openers. College football, Dirk Cutter and the Sun Devils kicking off their season against Temple. That's a good way to kick it off. First quarter, Arizona State up 7 0. Sam Keller, 24 touchdown pass to Jamal Lewis. Arizona State leads 14 0. Second quarter, third and 10 for Temple. Mike McGann to Bruce Gordon. Holy shnikey, what a hit by Maurice London. Second quarter now, it's 21 to 2. Arizona State, 15 seconds left and up. Touchdown pass, Derek Hagan, but wait. We get some uh, instant replay review going on here. Look. Did he get it down in time? Only one in college football. That's right. Which touch first? That's the question. Uh, they're going to say the right one did. Arizona State. Silence before the game to honor former Ute captain Thomas Heron, who recently died after the 49er game. Kyle Winningham coaching his first game for Utah, trying to extend their winning streak to 17 games. That's Brian Johnson, makes his debut at quarterback. He backed up Alex Smith last year. Throws the ball and big hit. Daryl Brooks, second quarter. It's a 3-3 game. Keep your eyes on that man. Number 53, Jason Parker. Whoops. 
shovel pass to Quinton Ganther. Ganther breaks a few tackles and stiff arms Brooks and dives in for six on the 47-yard score. Utes go up 10-3. They win 27-24. Yeah.